Well, hello there. Today we've got the Team TS6M. It's a bit of a special request, so I thought I'd do this out of the sequence of what we're supposed to be doing. This is the current model set, and it's of the multi norm type. It's a set they're receiving. Uh, there's very few adjustments to the transmitter on this. You know, some of the team's earlier products I wasn't that impressed with. Uh, at this, my side, I've got the remains of a Lancaster set. Um, I just don't think that it was that well made. And the MC8 that uh, I've seen and I don't think that was that well made, but we seem to have moved forwards. We're on a fiberglass printed circuit, and this is really nicely made. So it looks like we've turned the corner. Right, um, we're optimizing this for the UK frequencies, 2781 frequencies. Because if you're doing this and you're going to use all the 80 channels available on the EU or the UK, then of course you do this either on channel 1 of UK frequencies or channel 40 of the CPT frequencies. Because this radio isn't going to be used on CPT frequencies, we're going to optimise it on channel 20 of the 2781 band, and therefore that's going to work the best for the way it's going to be used. So we're going to transmit. There's, very, there's only two things we can really do to this. You'll notice on the printed circuit board, if I just zoom in, sharp tap with the remote on the bench, and you'll see the printed circuit board identity is TS6M um, version 5, and it shows me, to me that that's a unique chassis for this model. you also notice to the left of there, if I just point that out, it is crystal filtered. And the VCO is a sealed unit, so hopefully not going to get the ingress of moisture and hopefully not the microphony that can spoil so many of the TTI sets, um, it, which it appears that seems to be what happens. Disappointment is there's no adjustment for the 10.24 master oscillator crystal. So, you know, it's on frequency or it's not on frequency. So we're going to transmit. It's uh, 27.79122. So it's of course nearly spot on. I'm going to just unplug the extension speaker. It's yet another set that doesn't like the test set arrangement. Um, so the power. There's two power controls. There's W3 and W4. Let's zoom in on those. W3 and W4. One clearly does the low power because in Germany, when this set was built, you'd got one watt of AM, hadn't you? And uh, four watts of FM. And so the low, you've got a low power setting. So what we're going to do is and when you, when you need to adjust the high power setting and make sure that it's 4 watts. As it's come out of the box, it's just doing about 3.2. And that has now adjusted it to spot on the 4. So it's the back one of the two controls, W3. I'll just make a note on my notes here. What what we, what we got with this um, instruction book, we did get a layout and we did get a circuit diagram, so that has helped, but the trouble is even with a 1200 DPI scan, um, you can't always see the component values that are so small on these surface mount devices. So we've got the power up to the 4 watts, and the only other thing we can do is do the deviation. Now this is never going to be used in AM, um, I think that the adjustment there, W5, is the AM mod, um, which is 
that one down there, but we're only going to touch the FM one, which is W7. So I'll just get my oscillator out. And we'll adjust the FM deviation. That was 1.7 as it came out of the box there. It needs to be somewhere between 2.2 and never exceeding 2.5. So give it the quick whistle test. That's actually slightly over the top. And that brings it spot on. And that is all there is. There is an RF meter on the front. Relative RF meter. If I key up, you'll see the bar going across there. I can't see that that's adjustable. It's sensible as it's set. And I can't see that the it's adjustable on the um, S meter side of it either. So the only thing we've been able to do there's no tuning in the transmitter, the coils are all preset and a lot of them are surface mount is the high power to 4 watts using W3 the, far, the one towards the back of the set, of the two presets there and the FM deviation which is the one to the front of the set here so that is it and that concludes the transmitter side of the team TS6M